Rennie Harlan's high seas action adventure movie Cutthroat Island is perhaps unfairly remembered as being the film that bankrupted Carolco Pictures in late 1995, after the film earned only $10 million in the United States on its $98 million budget. In terms of the film's action scenes, Harlan brought a rather tough edge to what was otherwise a family friendly production, which earned Cutthroat Island a PG 13 in the United States for some strong pirate action slash violence and brief sensuality. When the film was submitted in its PG-13 form to the BBFC in the UK for a cinema rating, the distributors requested a PG rating, but the censors refused to pass the film without cuts due to its scenes of strong violence. Three different versions of the film ended up being passed by the BBFC between 1996 and 2003, and in this episode of Cutting Edge, we'll be examining the cuts that were made to Cutthroat Island in each of these three incarnations. The first version of the film to receive cuts in Britain was of course the original UK cinema version, with heavy cuts made across six of the film's reels. The first cut occurs during the opening credits, after Morgan has slept with a treacherous lieutenant. The affected material in the uncut version plays as follows. By the way, that won't work. See, I took your balls. For the UK version, the BBFC demanded Remove Morgan's line, I took your balls. Sight of lead shot in her hand may remain. I thought it was much more amusing this way also, since I knew that you knew. By the way, that won't work. See? Still in the opening credits, as Morgan rides across a beach and attempts to steal a boat, she gets into a tussle with the boat's owner. For the UK version, the BBFC stated, Remove heavy sound of Morgan's kick to man's face on beach. Shortly afterwards, Morgan's father Harry is shot at by Dog's men. Let go! Never! Morgan. Ah, Dog Morgan! Oh, no, father! For the UK version, the BBFC demanded Remove close up of bullet impact into Morgan's father's neck. Let go! Never! A short time later, Shaw's escape from Trotter was the next scene to receive changes. The uncut version plays thus. Is the Bristol packet don't arrive until a week Wednesday? That's him! That man stole my diamond comb! My pearls! My pearl dangle! My ruby! My ruby necklace! Sergeant of the Guard! Women! <laughs> Sergeant of the Guard! For the UK version, the BBFC demanded... Remove sound of arm break or sight as well if necessary. The filmmakers chose to remove only the crunchy sound effect whilst retaining the visual details, with the cut version playing as follows. Is the Bristol packet don't arrive until a week Wednesday? That's him! That man stole my diamond comb! My pearls! My pearl dangle! My ruby! My ruby necklace! Sergeant of the Guard! Women! The auction scene in Reel 2 where Morgan bids for Shaw's life was the next scene to receive BBFC cuts. The affected material in the uncut version plays as follows. I hope the lady is prepared to be a good loser. What gave you the idea I was a lady? Another bit, sir? Huh? I see your lips moving. Yes? Are you trying to kill me, madame? Yes, that's why I'm aiming where your brains are. Now leave this place and go far away. I can't retreat now, sir. Where are you going? For the UK version, 
the BBFC demanded, Remove sound of man being stuck in backside with dagger and of dagger being removed. Another Benelli advance of 35. I hope the lady is prepared to be a good loser. What gave you the idea I was a lady? <laughs> Another bit, sir? Huh? Mm. Uh, I see your lips moving. Yes? Mm. Are you trying to kill me, madame? Yes, that's why I'm aiming where your brains are. Now leave this place and go far away. After Morgan and Shaw leave the auction, they are ambushed and a lengthy escape from Port Royal ensues. Due to the sheer length of the escape sequence, we have elected to show only key moments from it here, which play as follows in the uncut version. Come on. For the UK version, a multitude of cuts were requested by the BBFC, which stated In escape and fight in courtyard, remove or greatly reduce sound of Morgan's kick to man's crotch. Punch to soldier. Elbow to face. Bashes with spade. Pole being thumped on man's chest and of punches to and by Morgan on top of carriage, as well as kick by her. Here's a look at how the violence played out in the cut UK cinema version. Pay particular attention to the sudden decrease in volume whenever one character is struck by another. Time to leave. You draw them away. We'll meet at Dignity Crossroads. Take King Charles. Aye. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Following their escape, Morgan and Shaw converse in the back of a carriage and Morgan proceeds to threaten Shaw with her dagger. Let's discuss terms first. I do so and you set me free. Oh. Ouch. That's tender. It's about to become more tender. For the British cinema version, the BBFC demanded... Remove sounds of Morgan's dagger being prodded into Shaw's groin in carriage, and remove sight of it being twisted. Let's discuss terms first. I do so and you set me free. Oh, that's tender. It's about to become more tender. Continuing on her quest for the gold hidden somewhere on Cutthroat Island, Morgan visits a brothel in Spitalfield Harbour 
in order to speak to her uncle, Mordecai. Numerous BBFC cuts were demanded in this part of the film, the first of which being... Remove sight of man squeezing Morgan's breasts in brothel. This is the uncut version of the sequence, followed by the censored UK cinema version. Where do you think you're going? Tapster sent me. Said the old turtle has his needs. Shake it down. <laughs> oh, hey, sweetheart. All that costs money. I have money. Well, I promise I will take care of you later. Shake it down. Oh, hey, sweetheart, all that costs money. We're now in reel three of the film, where the next cuts were made. After Morgan has spoken to Mordecai, Morgan is ambushed by Dog and his men. The affected material in the uncut version plays as follows. Just like Harry, mine's well hid. <laughs> For the UK cinema version, the BBFC stipulated Reduce Morgan's suffering as chain constricts her throat and remove overhead shot of her falling from balcony and crash landing. Just like Harry, mine's well hid. <laughs> A fight between Morgan's crew and Dog's men follows, and more cuts were demanded by the BBFC here. We've edited the material for timing and clarity, but the affected material in the uncut version contained the following footage. The map. Tell me where it is or I'll run you through! <laughs> Take care of you. For the UK cinema version, the BBFC demanded the following three changes. In Brothel Brawl, remove Morgan's kick to man's face and also her vicious headbutt, together with preceding line, Sweetheart, I promised I'd take care of you. Generally reduce sounds of brawl or visuals if sound cannot be remixed. After Dog tells Man, you killed my brother, remove sound of Man's throat being cut. With these cuts made, the affected material in the UK cinema version played as follows. Once again, pay particular attention to the diminished sound effects of various punches and kicks. They never gave me one! What? Uh. Tell me where it is or I'll run you through! You killed my brother. <laughs>
The following morning, we see Dog boarding his ship as he is confronted by one of his men. The scene plays thus in the uncut version. Why aren't they moving? Did you hear me, Mr. Bishop? I said, why aren't I moving? The anchor's fouled, Captain. Cut it loose. Aye, aye, sir. Quickly. We can't leave yet, Captain. We haven't put enough food on board. We need less mouths. For the UK cinema version, the BBFC demanded... When man complains to dog that there isn't enough food on board and dog shoots him, remove impact of man being shot, retaining only the end of his fall. Did you hear me, Mr. Bishop? I said, why aren't I moving? The anchor's fouled, Captain. Cut it loose. Aye, aye, sir. Quickly. We can't leave yet, Captain. We haven't put enough food on board. We need less mouths. No, no further cuts were made to the UK version until Reel 5, when Shaw is captured by Dog and the corrupt governor Ainsley. A brief shot of Shaw being struck in the head was censored for the UK version, with the BBFC demanding... Remove impact of rifle butt to back of Shaw's head. The uncut version follows, with the cut UK cinema version playing directly afterwards. Following Shaw's capture, Real Six sees Morgan rescuing her crew from the bowels of her ship, the Morning Star. The sequence plays as follows in the uncut version. In the 1990s, the BBFC were quick to pounce on violent acts like headbutts and neck breaks, which they termed imitable techniques, regardless of a film's rating. So for the PG-rated cinema version, the board demanded that this scene be cut in a very specific manner. When Morgan rescues chained pirates from hold of ship, remove sight of her twisting and breaking guard's neck, cutting away as camera tracks past prisoners, but before guard comes into shot, resuming to see Morgan throw sword, but reducing sound of impact. Morgan! Yes, Mr. Glassball, it's me. What do you say, man? Shall we take back our ship? On your word, Captain! Around ten minutes later, the epic finale of the film begins as Morgan and her crew face off with Dog and his men. Numerous cuts and trims were demanded in the film's final reels, the first of which concerned a brief tussle between Shaw and an enemy pirate. For a PG rating, the BBFC demanded... In fight on ship, remove Shaw's breaking of Pirate's arm and then punching him. A general change was also mentioned by the BBFC for the finale of the film, which stated... Generally reduce sounds of blows and slashes throughout battle. The changes are too numerous to demonstrate visually, but around 10 minutes worth of the final battle was affected in the same manner as earlier sequences in the film, with the volume of approximately 30 punches, kicks, stabbings and sword slicing into bodies 
been reduced in volume to tone down the mayhem of the film's finale. One specific instance that the BBFC cited as needing to be reduced was when Black Pirate slashes man across face, reduce sound of impact. The uncut version follows, with the cut UK cinema version playing directly afterwards. So many, we are so few! But the edits made to the final battle do not stop there. Take a look at this short sequence. With regards to this scene, the BBFC informed the filmmakers that they needed to remove slow motion shot of Morgan swinging on rope and kicking man in head. Along with remove Morgan slashing of pirate's throat. Due to these cuts, what remained was simple action as opposed to overt violence. <laughs> Perhaps the most brutal, and certainly not child-friendly scene in the film, is the fight between Blair and the villainous Bishop in Reel 7. The mayhem and strong violence arguably reaches its zenith at this point in Cutthroat Island, and plays as follows in the uncut version. Children, shield your eyes. In the army, sir. For the UK cinema version, the BBFC demanded Remove sight of man's arm being broken in wheel. Remove sight of man being stabbed in back of leg. Remove sight of man's head being crushed in wheel. These three cuts necessitated the removal of around 30 seconds of footage, over 40% of the entire film's cuts with the resultant scene simply leaving Bishop's fate to the viewer's imagination.
Another brief cut was made to this part of the film a couple of minutes later. Here, the BBFC stated, Remove sight of kick to man's face. Two final visual cuts were made to the final fight between Morgan and Dog. The sequence in the uncut version contains the following details. For this scene, the BBFC's cuts list demanded Remove sight of Morgan's kick to Dog's crotch, as well as sight of Dog smashing Morgan's head against Mast. In addition to the visual cuts, some of the aforementioned sound cuts affected this sequence in the UK version as well, which now played as follows. After the submitting company had made 72 seconds of visual cuts, along with extensive sound reductions in many of the film's fight scenes, Cutthroat Island was passed PG by the BBFC on March 13, 1996. Almost five months later, it was resubmitted to the board for a video classification in the summer of 1996. The version submitted by Guild Home Video was partially pre-cut in line with the UK cinema version, although some cuts made for the cinema version had not been applied on video. As a result, the BBFC outlined the required changes in a new cuts list, opening with a note that read, The UK cinema version was extensively re-edited for PG, with reductions of sound levels throughout. The following cuts are required to bring the video version into line with that version. The sound of Morgan's kick to the man's head on the beach is too loud and should be nearly imperceptible. When Morgan and Shaw begin to fight their way out of Garrison Town, considerably reduce sounds of her crotch kick and punch to soldiers in doorway. Considerably reduce sound of spade handle being banged down on man's chest and also sound of Morgan's spade being smashed into soldier's face. Reduce sound level of Morgan's punch to man's face on top of carriage and her kick which follows. One final cut was requested for the UK video version, which further reduced a scene that was already cut for the cinema release. When Dog sets sail in pursuit of Morgan and gives orders to crew, after he says, we need less mouths, and fires point blank at Sailor, remove all sight of Sailor being shot dead, resuming a reaction shot of other Sailors. The UK cinema version removed only the impact shot whilst retaining the end of the sailor's fall. 
but his death was now completely eliminated on video. Did you hear me, Mr. Bishop? I said, why aren't I moving? The anchor's fouled, Captain. Cut it loose. Aye, aye, sir. Quickly. We can't leave yet, Captain. We haven't put enough food on board. We need less mouths. There's no one hear me on this ship. I distinctly said, cut it loose! Following four seconds of cuts and sound reductions, Cutthroat Island was passed PG for a UK home video release on August the 2nd, 1996. Some eight years later, Momentum Pictures submitted the film anew for a DVD classification. Much like their horrible DVD release of Cliffhanger in 2001, the company submitted a pre-cut version of Cutthroat Island that ran nowhere nearly as smoothly as the cut version that was released on VHS in the 1990s. Additionally, the cuts were not made in the same manner as they had been on film or video, with some footage having been reinstated and other footage and additional sound cuts being made that had not been done before. It can get a little confusing, but we'll try to keep the following discussion as clear as possible. Firstly, the UK DVD reinstates Morgan's joke about taking the man's balls in the opening scene. Her kick to the man on the beach a couple of minutes later is also now at its proper volume, and not diminished as it was on film or video. The shooting of Harry is extended by a few frames on DVD. We still lose sight of the bullet impact into his neck, but the tail end of the same shot is now restored. Moving forward, Shaw's cracking of Trotter's arm at the dance is restored on DVD, despite it being removed on film and video. The auction scene and subsequent escape from the town is also edited differently in comparison to the old UK versions. The sound effect of Morgan stabbing the man in the behind is restored to its proper volume on the UK DVD, although a close-up of Morgan kicking a soldier in the groin is trimmed slightly. This shot was present in full on film and video, although the sound effect had been reduced. On the UK DVD, however, the very start of the shot showing Morgan's foot making contact is truncated. The many sound cuts originally made to various kicks, punches and impacts with the spade during Morgan's escape are all restored in the DVD, despite being cut on film and video. When Morgan threatens Shaw with her dagger in the carriage, the BBFC had initially stated that the sounds of the knife should be removed. On the UK DVD, however, Momentum chose to remove the offending shots altogether, which results in a slight jump in the film's soundtrack. The brothel scene around five minutes later is also cut differently on DVD. The footage of Morgan's breasts being squeezed was still cut, but more footage from the top of the shot was removed in comparison to the cinema and VHS versions. Also, the infamous shot of Morgan being yanked from the balcony with a chain was restored in full on DVD, despite it being removed on film and video. Dog slashing of the throat of the man who killed his brother has its sound effect restored on the UK DVD, whereas again, it was originally removed on film and video. The kick by Morgan to the face of one enemy was removed on DVD as it had originally been on film. Her headbutt shortly afterwards was still cut as it had been on film and video, but the scene restores some non-contentious footage which now makes it look like Morgan pushes the man over the balcony. Her earlier joke about taking care of the guard now has a payoff on the DVD version, whereas on the VHS version, the joke was lost and the fate of the guard was left to the viewer's imagination. Sweetheart, I promised I'd take care of you. In terms of sound effects, the impact sounds of all punches, kicks and slashes appear to have been restored on the UK DVD and are no longer removed or reduced as they had been previously. One of the most obvious cuts in the UK DVD concerns the instance when Dog shoots the sailor. Whereas the cut was done quite seamlessly on film and even on video, the sound jumps quite horrendously on the DVD version. We can't leave yet, Captain. We haven't put enough food on board. We need less mouths. A curious cut exclusive to the UK DVD 
occurs around 64 minutes into the film after Morgan steals Dog's map. Bitch stole my map! Find it! Or your own dick! On the UK DVD, the word bitch has been removed. Morgan here! Stole my map! Find it! Or your own dick! Around 80 minutes into the film, the sound effect of Shaw being struck on the back of the head with a rifle butt is restored in the UK DVD, after it was previously cut on film and video. Another jumpy cut on DVD in comparison to the previous UK versions occurs when Morgan rescues her crew from below decks. Once again, this is a scene that played better in its previous incarnations. Here's a look at the original UK cinema version and the UK DVD version. Morgan! Yes, Mr. Glasspool, it's me. What do you say, man? Shall we take back our ship? On your word, Captain! I thought I would never see you again. Yes, Mr. Glassball, it's me. The last cuts made by Momentum occur during the finale. Shaw's breaking of a pirate's arm and punching him in the face was removed altogether on film and video, but the UK DVD restores the rather harmless punch to the face. Some minutes later, Morgan's slow motion kicking of a man in the face as she swings from a rope was originally removed entirely, but the UK DVD restores this footage save for the actual sight of her foot making contact with the man's face. The most extensively cut scene is once again the fight between Blair and Bishop. The scene is cut entirely differently on the DVD, with momentum making more cuts than were necessary. For comparison's sake, here is the uncut version of the scene once again. What follows is the choppy UK DVD version, which not only cuts the sequence poorly, but also removes entirely the sight of Trotter shooting one of his own men, a turning point for his character. This instance was never a cause of concern for the BBFC, so it is interesting to ponder why it was pre-cut for the DVD version. Bishop also seems to scream suddenly due to an apparent undisclosed anal condition and he then seems to die by simply standing too close to the ship's wheel. Have a look at this. A short while later, Glasspool being kicked in the face was also cut differently. Once again, only the actual impact was removed. 
it looks worse on the DVD. Similarly, Morgan's kick to Dog's crotch was cut to remove only the actual impact on DVD, but the sight of her being smashed into the ship's mast was reinstated. The point where the kick was removed looks particularly jumpy on the DVD. As for the sound effects of the epic battle, none of them were reduced for the UK DVD version, despite them receiving heavy reductions for the film's original UK release. This point in particular is interesting because despite Momentum submitting a pre-cut version for a DVD rating, the BBFC still demanded two compulsory cuts, remarking, Cuts were required to reduce violence in accordance with BBFC policy and guidelines in order to gain classification in line with recent decision on same title. These cuts were as follows. Reduce sound of throat slicing by woman. Reduce sound of woman being punched in the face. Despite this, the UK DVD does not appear to implement these two changes. The Cutthroat Island DVD was awarded a PG classification for moderate violence on November the 24th, 2003, and was first released by Momentum Pictures and again by Optimum Releasing in 2008. Both versions contain the same cut version of the film. At this time, Cutthroat Island only remains available in a cut version on DVD in the UK. Fans of the film who wish to own the uncut version would do well to import the American Blu-ray release, which is region free and will play in all UK Blu-ray players without issue. Sling your hooks, me hearties! Police Department. I'd like to speak to a Miss Catherine Tremell, please. You're dealing with someone so obsessed that he or she is willing to kill an irrelevant and innocent victim. I'm talking about a deep-seated obsessional hatred and an utter lack of respect for human life.